Right, it's uh, Sunday morning. We're listening to love songs in the garden. We've got a chicken in for uh, lunch. We need some veg to go with it. So let's make a start. Let's go for a parsnip first, shall we? Eh? You've seen me dig these things out. They take a bit of getting out, so I'll probably stop the vid part way through. But I'll do this excavation. I think that's about as much digging as you want to see. So we'll just stop the vid and I'll finish it off. Okay, I've done a bit of an excavation. <laughs> um, I'm going to push down and twist now, see if this baby will come out. Okay. And if it doesn't come out, I'll have to dig some more. Okay, there we go. Pushing down and twisting. Oh, something's gone. Yeah, we're gonna get it. I can feel it going. Yep. There we go. Hey, watching. I have left some root in the bottom, but it's probably a very thin piece of root that wouldn't get used anyway. There we go. Nine inch, and it's all usable. Okay, right. Let's put this on the garden. Let's see what else we can get for our Sunday lunch. Right. Let's take a turn up. Let's take this one, shall we? See if we can get it up without disturbing its neighbour. This looks a bit easier than the parsnip. Oh yeah. Just push the neighbours down. We don't want those coming up. We want those to grow on. So try not to disturb them if we can. How's that doing? How's that? Huh? It's a good turnip. Right. Carry on. I'll throw this on the garden and then we'll see what else we can get. Right, I think we'll have a couple of beetroot, shall we? These look okay. Uh, we'll take this one, this looks about the biggest. Try not to disturb its partners. Smaller than a tennis ball, bigger than a golf ball. That'll taste lovely. We'll just do one more, I think. Oh, maybe do two more. Let's see what this one looks like. About the same size. We'll just leave a couple in. I'll take this one as well. Okay. What we've got here. Three nice beetroot. Put those on the garden. So what else we can get? Right, let's lift uh, two or three carrots. They look as though they could be uh, quite good these carrots. I'll just I'll give them a slack and if I can because I did lose a bit of the parsnip there and maybe I should have excavated a bit more. I didn't realise. <laughs> These things, well, I mean, it's as though they've got a ground anchor. You need, you nearly need um, a block and tackle to get them parsnips out. Oh, these carrots aren't as, oh no, very nice. What do you reckon? It's okay. They are a short, uh, short carrot. It's not so good. That one shouldn't have come, but it did. So it's, it's out now. Try these two at the end. Yep. And this guy. One more. One more. That's it. Okay. Now those carrots, not the biggest in the world, but they're as sound as a pound. 
and I'll bet they taste absolutely gorgeous. So we'll put these on the garden. Let's see what we've got. When you're growing courgettes, it's quite easy for one to get away from you. And as you know, a big courgette becomes a matter. Same family, same plant. And I've just spotted one. So I'm going to have to take it off. Whether this will be part of our Sunday lunch or not, I don't know. It's got to come. Whoa! Can you see him? I don't know if you can. It's either a big courgette or a small matter. <laughs> take, take your pick. Right, let's put that on the garden. Okay, this is the veg loaded up in the butter. Let's um, take it up the garden, tidy it up a bit. Next door to Alice. <laughs> Right, I've taken the tops off these. Let's give them a scrub up, see what they look like. Fast nip, minus, minus a couple inches. Raised bed gardening. Homegrown veg. Nothing tastes better. And you don't need me to tell you that. Lovely turnip. How many beetroot did we do? Can you remember? I can't see in this now. The water's dirty. Was it three or four? No, just the three. There's the three beetroot. Carrots. Are you watching? Watch. It's an Olympic event. What do you reckon it is? Synchronized carrots. <laughs> oh boy. I'm having too much fun. Even Lionel and Rich is enjoying this gardening. <laughs> right, let's get rid of these. This was the courgette we took. We'll put that in the batter as well, just for completeness. Move the water out. Now I was uh, tempted to take a leek, but I didn't. And as you know, leeks and onions, same family. They're the onions I harvested earlier this year. I've had them hanging up. You can see they've dried out nicely. Have a nice colour on them. And Molly's got her eye on those carrots. I know what she's looking at. Is it a small one? I don't. Should I? You want it, Mol? Come on, then. Man alive, these will all be gone before I get them indoors if I don't watch out. Okay, homegrown veg, signing off.